What is a learning disability? A learning disability is a disorder that affects individuals of potentially average to above average intelligence by interfering with the central nervous system and its ability to process information. Learning disabilities affect the way in which an individual takes in, remembers, and understands information, as well as how an individual expresses that information. Outwardly, people with learning disabilities appear normal and seem to function just like everyone else, hence some referring to learning disabilities as an invisible disability. It is commonly misunderstood that they are not intelligent. This just isn't so. Even as adults, they may experience problems in one or more of these general areas. Memory, reasoning, coordination, communication, social competence. Learning disabilities affect approximately one out of every 10 people. This means more than 2 million Canadians have a learning disability. Dyslexia is a learning disability that affects language, particularly reading. It was commonly misunderstood to mean a condition that causes letters to appear backwards and upside down, but in reality it is much more complicated. Dyslexia involves problems in identifying speech sounds and being able to relate the sounds to letters and words. Dysgraphia is a learning disability that affects language, particularly writing. Writing involves a lot of activity in the brain as it combines vocabulary, grammar, hand coordination and memory. A writing disorder would become apparent with difficulty in spelling, illegible handwriting and or putting thoughts on paper. Dyscalculia is a learning disability that affects the ability to do math. The learning disability involves challenges in the way the brain processes numbers, symbols, understands abstract concepts like time, space, value and even logic. This learning disability is often misinterpreted with lacking intelligence when individuals can't do simple math. Auditory processing disorder is a learning disability that affects hearing. It is commonly misinterpreted as a person that is hard of hearing. There's nothing wrong with their hearing. In reality, it is much more complicated. Auditory processing problems involve the brain's ability to process the accuracy of what is heard, memory of what is heard, organization of what is heard, and what's called figure ground discrimination, which is having the ability to discern single sounds from surrounding sounds. Nonverbal learning disabilities affect all learning that is not related to language. This includes social skills and physical coordination. It is often confused with Asperger's or Autism Spectrum Disorder, ASD, which both affect learning but are not a learning disability. Persons with ASD are predominantly visual learners, while persons with NVLD are auditory learners. Someone with NVLD may lack spatial awareness, like reading body cues, and having difficulty with tasks that require fine motor skills. For example, hand-eye coordination, holding an egg, gripping a pen, using scissors, throwing a ball, riding a bike. The previous are the more common learning disabilities, but there are many more. Dyspraxia, where fine motor skills are affected. Dysnomia, which involve retrieval failures of words, particularly nouns and verbs. There are no cures for learning disabilities just adapting and coping mechanisms. In the current educational system, efforts are made to ensure that learning is tailored to meet the needs of all students. Students are comprised of a diverse intersectionality of ethnicity, different cultures, socioeconomic status, different languages and level of literacy, and both mental and physical disabilities. Efforts are made to accommodate, make accessible, and even modify the requirements of a curriculum, all to prepare the students for life in the real world. But when these students enter the job market, the reality is this. All the young adults will not be starting from the same starting line. Let's look closely at the conventional hiring process in North America. Everything looks good on paper, and the initial screening is typically based on the employer looking at the most promising individual 
and the best fit for the position based on experience, qualifications, and alignment of skill sets for the position. But it's not until the interview where impressions are made and the performance in the interview is the key influencer that leads or does not lead to employment. Imagine going into an interview, having confidence and knowing you could do the job, but you have a learning disability that hinders you to present yourself well in the interview. Your performance in the interview may not be an accurate reflection of your true capabilities or potential. Your learning disability goes up against ableism, which is discrimination in favor of able-bodied people. In today's society, employers strive to promote equity, diversity, and inclusion first by hiring a diverse workforce. Diversity not only includes differences in ethnicity, race, age, or even the way we think, speak, and act, but should also include the differences and especially limitations in the way we learn. A truly diverse organization provides equal opportunities when it includes and hires employees with learning disabilities who are part of an underserved population. There are many famous people who have learning disabilities. Having a learning disability does not limit the success of an individual. There are many jobs, trades, and professions that people with learning disabilities can do. Passion and motivation can drive success even through the obstacle of a learning disability. There are many factors to consider that determine the employability of a person with a learning disability. It's not about their disability, but it's their abilities that should be the main focus. One factor includes the severity of the learning disability. Learning disabilities are very complex with a wide range which varies from person to person. Another factor is the required abilities to do a job. Being able to read or do math may not be a requirement for a particular job. Learning disabilities come with their advantages. For example, persons with ADHD have very creative minds which are ideal for tasks that require brainstorming or thinking outside the box. Dyslexic people tend to be very comfortable navigating outside of their comfort zone as because of their learning disability, outside of their comfort zone is their norm. Learning disabilities require accommodations and each company has their own levels of flexibility in being able to provide accommodations. With this in mind, here are some job opportunities for people with learning disabilities. People with learning disabilities have opportunities to work in counseling positions. By helping other people with the same or similar learning disabilities, they are able to provide an added level of empathy and credibility to the position. Depending on the learning disability, accommodations can be made for reading or writing using what's called assistive technology, speech to text, etc. People with learning disabilities show exceptional creativity because of the unique way their brains work. A restaurant position may involve being a sous chef or a food preparer, like fruit sculpting or ice carving. Reading and writing are not key requirements to do a lot of restaurant related jobs. People with learning disabilities can pursue their passion with helping others, again, where reading and writing may not necessarily be required. A learning disability like dyslexia or dyscalculia interferes very little in social environments. People with nonverbal learning disabilities, or Asperger's, can be employed using their analytical skills. Due to their attention to detail and ability to concentrate, they can perform exceptionally well, provided there is also very little social or spatial relationships required in the position. It has been proven that people with dyslexia can do coding. A successful dyslexic working in the industry states, I knew early on that my dyslexia made me a very good troubleshooter of electrical equipment and computer code, as I could see the complete system in my mind and visualize the solutions. Persons with learning disabilities can fulfill many general labor positions, including office support, data entry, customer service in retail or other industries, general construction. With accommodations, 
Persons with learning disabilities can become active contributors to society and the economy while being able to live self-sufficient. The foundation of this assignment is about exercising equity, diversity, and inclusion through workplace accommodations. A workplace accommodation is defined on the federal government's website as a modification of a work environment that allows an employee with a disability to perform their job functions efficiently and safely. Accommodations are measures that change the roadmap to achieving a goal or meeting an objective. Accommodations in the workplace are traditionally implemented for workers after they are hired and are in the workplace. But to be truly inclusive, it needs to start earlier. Accommodations that start at the onset of the hiring process provide equal opportunity to persons with a learning disability. Sending a copy of the interview questions in advance of an interview is a form of accommodation. This will allow the person to be given time to process the questions and formulate a response in advance so they aren't critiqued based on their performance in the interview, but based on their knowledge and experience. Accommodations that are incorporated as part of the training a new employee would include eliminating written tests with time constraints, which may not accurately reflect the skills and abilities in a workplace setting, or providing extended periods of time to meet deliverables as those with learning disabilities inherently do not perform well under pressure. Adults with learning disabilities take longer to learn, but once they have learned it, can be as productive as anyone else. There are many other forms of accommodations in the workplace. Some include the use of assistive technology, software that converts text to speech or speech to text, to eliminate the need for spelling, proper grammar, or reading. What can a person with learning disabilities do? Be a self-advocate. Self-advocacy or self-determination is a combination of skills, knowledge, and beliefs that enable a person to engage in goal-directed, self-regulated, autonomous behavior. An understanding of one's strengths and limitations together with a belief in oneself as capable and effective or essential to self-determination. It's about acting on the basis of skills, attitude, and grit. Fully disclosing to a prospective employer is a choice. Not everyone feels comfortable disclosing something so personal as a learning disability. The risk is that it could negatively impact prospective employment. But self-advocacy hinges on the opportunities that could come not only to the individual, but also to the employer. What can employers do? Establish awareness of learning disabilities throughout the organization. Establish hiring policies that go against ableism and include marginalized groups. Support employees with learning disabilities with the right accommodations. Persons with learning disabilities can offer surprising rewards to employers through their non-conventional thinking. True equity, diversity, and inclusion are achieved when persons with learning disabilities are hired, trained, and the right accommodations are set up in the workplace.